Hey, second grade, Miss Crawl. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a special time when we use commas. So remember, commas are used in our writing and it tells us when to take a slight pause when we're reading. Now there's a special time when we're gonna use commas and that's what we're talking about today. And that's when we're listing words in a series. So for example, if you say, I love pizza, cake, and donuts. You listed a series of words there, pizza, cake, donuts. Now, listen to it, that sentence as I read it. I love pizza, cake, and donuts. Do you see how I pause after each word? When you list those in a series, list those words, you wanna be able to naturally have a pause. And how do we do that? We use a comma. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example of this and we'll talk about it a little bit more. So I have a sentence here and it says, we may read about foxes, birds, or fish. Let me read that one more time. We may read about foxes, birds, or fish. So here you can see that we list, we have a series here, foxes, birds, fish. And we wanna naturally have that pause. So we're gonna go foxes, put a comma there, birds, or fish. I want you to notice this right here, or. So before, we have that last word listed in our series or our list, we're gonna have either or or and, and that's gonna help us separate that. So let me read this. We may read about foxes, birds, or fish. So you see how adding that comma breaks up the words in that series. So all we do is put a comma after each word, and then before we put our last word in there, we're either gonna put and or or. So let me go ahead and pull this up and let's give us a little bit of practice. The directions say, find the errors, select the word that needs to be changed or that needs punctuation after it, then choose the proofreading symbol that will fix that error. So we need to add commas in here. So let's read the first sentence. I want you to follow along as I read it out loud. We read fables, stories, and jokes about animals. One more time. We read fables, stories, and jokes about animals. So you can see here, we have these words listed or series in a series, fables, stories, and jokes. So we need commas there so we can pause as we read. So fables, comma, stories, comma, and look, jokes is our last word in that series. And we're gonna have, we have and before. So let me read this with the commas. We read fables, stories, and jokes about animals. Nice job. All right, I want you to follow along as I do this one. Mark, Jen, and Anne told us animal jokes. Mark, Jen, and Anne told us animal jokes. So you can see we have a list here. We have a series of names, Mark, Jen, and Anne. We need commas in there to separate those. If we have a bunch of words like that in a series or a list, we need to have commas separating them. So Mark, comma, Jen comma, and, and, and is the last word in that series. So you see that we have an and in front of it. Let me read it with the commas. Mark, Jen, and Anne told us animal jokes. Follow along as I do this one, and after this one, I'm gonna challenge you guys to do this. Mark, Mike, Drew, and Terry wrote an animal fable. Mike, Drew, and Terry wrote an animal fable. So let's look, I'm looking for those series of words that I have. Well, I see it right here, Mike, Drew, and Terry. We need commas to break those up. Mike, comma, Drew, comma, and Terry. You see Terry's the last word in that series or that list, so we have that and in front. Let me read it with the comma. Mike, Drew, and Terry wrote an animal fable. All right, second grade, you're going to read this silently as I read it out loud. The fable was about a cat that ran, jumped, and hid. So I challenge you, I want you to get your pointer finger out. Don't actually touch your screen, but I want you to point to where's the our words? What is our series of words that we need commas? What words are we listing here that we need to break up with commas? So you should have put your finger under ran, jumped, and hid. Those are all words that we're listing. We have in a series. 
and we need to break them up with a comma. But look, ran already has a comma for us. Ran, comma, jumped, comma, and hid. You see hid is that last word in our series, so we have and before it. So let's read the sentence again with the commas. The fable was about a cat that ran, jumped, and hid. Awesome job, guys. Let's try a couple more of these. Would you like to read a fable about a boy, a wolf, and a farmer? Let me read that one more time. Would you like to read a fable about a boy, a wolf, and a farmer? So go ahead, I want you to take your pointer finger again. Go under the series. What are the words that are listed here that we need commas in between? Yeah, so you should put your finger under a boy, a wolf, and a farmer. So we already see a wolf has a comma after it, but what about a boy, we need a comma, a wolf, comma, and a farmer. You see farmer is the last word in our series, so we have that and in front of it. Would you like to read a fable about a boy, a wolf, and a farmer? All right, second grade, I want you to go ahead and you're going to pretend to write in these commas. Take your finger, get close to your screen, and I want you to pretend to put in the commas where they need to go. Let me read it. I like to read, write, and draw pictures. I like to read, write, and draw pictures. So I want you to take a minute, pause me, and pretend put in where the commas need to be. All right, so our words that are in our series are listed here is read, write, and draw. We need to break those up with commas. So I like to read, comma, write, comma, and draw pictures. So you see draw pictures is the last in our series, so we have and in front of it. I like to read, write, and draw pictures. This is the last one we're gonna practice. So I'm gonna read it, and then I want you again to pause me and pretend put in where the commas are using your pointer finger. A lamb, a wolf, and a boy are in the picture. One more time. A lamb, a wolf, and a boy are in the picture. Go ahead, pause me, and put in where those commas need to go. Yeah, so a lamb, a wolf, and a boy. That's the series in here that needs broken up by commas. And we can see a lamb already has it. A lamb, comma, a wolf, comma, and a boy. See, we have that and before a boy, last in our series, and a boy are in the picture. Let me read that one more time with our commas. A lamb, a wolf, and a boy are in the picture. Awesome work, second grade. Before you go, quick review. We talked about commas in a series. So when we have words listed or a series of words, we need to break them up with a comma so we can have that natural pause. Kind of thinking back to that sentence we said, I like pizza, cake, and donuts. We're listing pizza, cake, donuts. That's a series of words. We break it up with a comma. And remember, before that last word in our series, we either have an and or an or. Awesome work, guys. See you next time.